What's going on everybody? It's the Nidian and I'm bringing you some Battlefield Bad Company 2 Squad Deathmatch on the map. I have no clue as usual. Um, this is actually the first time I played this map, but I'm running Engineer as usual. And uh, But this time I'm using the PP2000 as you can see with the M9, RPG, Red Dot, Magnum Ammo, and Tank Reload because I don't care what uh, vehicle thing I grab because I don't get into the damn vehicles. Like I said, I'm a waste of space in there, bad boys. But this is the first time I've used the PP2000, and I'm going to use it for a few more matches and then switch it up and try to bring you guys a little bit of uh, the weapons in here and there as we go down the thing. It's uh, This was a really, really well-fought match between two squads. The other two squads, I'm not exactly sure what they were doing. I'm not even sure if they were full, to be completely honest. But it's a really close battle, and it was a hell of a lot of fun. And once our team... You'll see a very slow start here in the beginning as our team uh, had a little bit of an issue getting together. But once we get it together and we start playing like a team, we pull off the win, and that's what it's all about. If you don't stick with your squad in any type of gameplay or any type of game type with uh, Battlefield Bad Company 2, you're pretty much done. Unless you're the name right there, the messenger of God. This guy is ridiculously good at Battlefield. Um, he's one of the better players, if not one of the best I've come across in a long time. I mean, he was, uh, in matches that I played after this, he was, he'd be 35, 40 kills out of the 50 for his team. It was ridiculous. So, well played to you, sir, if you ever come across my videos. I give him all the props in the world. It made the matches very interesting. It just seemed like every time I turned a corner, it was like deja vu, and he was wrecking my ass. But that's where we're going from there. Um, as I speak, I'm re-downloading APB Reloaded. Um, before, I had, I had a corruption issue on my other hard drive, and for whatever reason, I couldn't even get the game to start, let alone play it. So I'm re-downloading it. I'm going to see if it's any better. They got a few new versions of beta out and bring you guys some APB Reloaded gameplay here shortly, hopefully. And every time I say something, something usually goes wrong. Story of my life. But uh, I got into uh, I went to Sven D TV's live stream last night, and it was basically it was gonna be bent off of uh, helping you know smaller channels and kind of heading people in the right direction and doing this and how you gotta advertise yourself and this and that. Well, it ended up turning into this ridiculously informative video or live stream. Uh, Cinematic, a machinima director ended up popping in. Whack, a Yaush director ended up popping in. And going what, and you know, giving us some tips and tricks of what has helped them along the lines of doing this and doing that. So that took a lot away from this, that live stream. And sat down this morning and started to say, you know, okay, what am I going to do with this channel? Where am I going to go with it? And how am I going to do it? So first thing I did this morning was get in touch with Sven D. And I went and created a Twitter account so you guys can follow me on Twitter. And then that way I can, you know, if I'm popping in, I can play, uh, say I'm playing BF2 for a little bit of this and that. Oops, somebody tried to Skype call me. Sorry, man, I'm in the middle of a video. But anyways, we went to, uh, did that. So I, I set up a Twitter account. You can follow me as at the Nidian, and we'll get on that. And then uh, I hooked it up with my YouTube account and all this other stuff to get that started. Um... I also sat down this morning and I'm like, man, I got to get this schedule. I know I've been talking about it. Everybody probably thinks I'm bullshitting him at this point. Unfortunately, Dual Comm Sunday hasn't come to fruition yet. I haven't been able to, we just haven't been able to get in touch with uh, Sinus Revolver or get a good time going and all that other good stuff. So that's kind of on the back burner at the moment, just like a piece of meat sitting there in your kitchen defrosting. Um, and I haven't had any other requests unfortunately so we're gonna shove that to the side at the moment uh, what I have come up with though is I started a series right when I got into this a few months back uh, where I was gonna give people military tips and tricks of 
what they're looking for if anybody's getting into the military or even thought about it or even has a friend that was going to do it and all this other stuff. So I'm going to bring that back to life. I'm going to start it back with episode 2. Episode 1 I've already done, so I'll put a link when I get that. But I'm going to do that on Mondays. That's gonna, I'm going to do a military Monday and give you guys my tips and tricks and stories and the bullshit I've went through in the military. And that will at least be a two or three year long episode. Because I have stories for days of what to do and what not to do. Secondly, I'm going to start off on Fridays. I want to do a subscriber Friday. And have you guys submit your videos. Now they can either be calmed or uncommed. If they're calmed, I'll just submit the video. And we'll go from there on my channel. And get everybody's subs interacting with each other. If they're not calmed, then you and you just have a video you want to be shown, what I'll do is I'll calm it up and I'll do like a Q&A session. Uh, if you guys have your questions, Q&A, PM them to me, and every Friday I'll sit down with the list and I'll start answering them. Uh, it could be anything. Favorite food, uh, what type of shoes to wear, I don't give a shit. You ask it, I'll answer it, and that's going to be on Fridays. Now, in between there, I'm probably just going to do like on Wednesday like a regular calm or random video of whatever for now but those are the two schedules i want to set up is military monday and subscriber friday so if you want submit those videos if you don't know how go to my channel send me a message and link the video in in your message and we'll go from there and yeah that's how you go, go about doing that and then obviously just pm me your questions and all that other good stuff so my twitter account is the nidian and my Skype account is the Nidian, so feel free to add me up on either one of those, and I'll try to keep in touch with you guys as much as possible. So that's what I have going. But we're gonna go back here to the gameplay for a minute and get off that seat, Messenger of God. Once again, I can't get away from this guy. Your killer, Messenger of God. I think I had a match here. Uh, well, frog in the throat again. I had a, a match here. Uh, a couple games after this where I went like 15 and 15 and 20 and 20 and he was literally every single one of those deaths uh, He was like a magnet every time I turned the corner. That's where he was But the PP 2000 doesn't have much damage, but what it makes up for is fire rate from hell It's got a decent amount of ammo and of course a silencer So it just keeps you off the radar and that's one thing you're gonna see a lot of people using the engineer class in, in squad deathmatch uh, simply due to the silencer and keeping themselves off the radar. But if you get a team like I had that sticks together, we had two medics, an engineer, and shit, a soldier. And it worked out really well together when we were kind of floating around and we stuck together because if the medic would die, I'd pick up his kit, resurrect him, bring him back to life, switch back kits, he'd pick up his kit, and we'd go from there. So it, it works out really, really well. You'll see some teams that are strictly all engineers, some teams that are strictly all uh, soldier or strictly all medic. And the medic squads are dangerous. But one thing I've noticed lately is a lot, and I mean a lot of people running with shotguns. Uh, I don't, you know, I've tried to work with the shotguns and I don't necessarily care for them. I'm not much of a shotgun guy. If I pick one up from somebody's kit, I'll pick one up from somebody's kit and go with it. But for the most part, I try to stay away from the shotguns. But you'll see guys all over the place now with shotguns. Because they'll come around the corner, you'll get four or five hit markers, boom, you're down with one shot from the shotgun. And it may be a, more of a squad deathmatch type thing because I've... Uh, during rush and all that stuff, you don't really run into it all too often. Every once in a while, you run into some crazy commando, and he's just blasting people with a shotgun left and right, and then just being that terror behind the scenes. So, that's that. Um, also, I have I got a message on Xbox Live. Now, I do not know how long this message has been sitting there. Probably quite a while. Because this is the first time I've turned on my Xbox, and I didn't even turn on. My wife wanted to watch uh, one of her fucking 20 Twilight movies on it. So I checked it out. I, I added some friend requests that have been sitting there for probably quite a long time now. And I check out some messages. 
Now, a couple guys have a disc reader error on Black Ops and Black Ops only. And they were asking if anybody knew. Now, I don't know if they have their problem taken care of, but I, if I remember right, this was a bug uh, quite a while ago where there was some type of... I can't remember. Uh, but if anybody knows how to take care of that problem, stick it in the comments. He may already have it taken care of, but stick it in anyways if anybody down the line has that problem if you know how to fix that or if it's just one of those unfortunate things and the disc is broke so that's that guys there's a match i went 18 and 10 nothing too crazy with the pp 2000 but we kicked some ass and it was a really good match so as usual guys 